Alright, what's up everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today is a Monday, Labor Day, so happy Labor Day to everybody that's out there bussing and grinding right now. So today we are going to be touring this lovely property from Toe Brothers. And this model right here, this is the Keystone model. It's a desert contemporary. It is an open floor plan. So today we are here in uh, Mesa Ridge. This is the name of the community. We are in a mass plan community called Summerlin. We are just west of the Las Vegas Valley. You do have the models here. I've done the video tours on these models, so I, I will have a link in the description below so that way uh, you can see exactly what those models are look like and you can see the upgrades so the reason why I wanted to show you this model right here uh, there there's actually three different elevations on here and uh, this elevation is the the desert elevation now the original asking price that they had on here was uh, one million eighty five thousand nine hundred and ninety five thousand dollars but they just literally did a price reduction on here for one million they actually did a price increase, I'm sorry, for $1,115,995. So, the reason why I want to show this to you is because I want you to take a look at this home versus the model home. In addition to that, the base price on here, right, for this particular home, this model, was really $995,000. And you're going to see the price difference. So basically, this has what about a hundred and thirty, hundred twenty thousand in upgrades. So I want to show you what the difference is. I definitely do love this elevation. However, uh, what I've noticed about this type of stone, eventually on the front veneer here, when it starts to rain, if the stones are not sealed properly, what's going to happen is from the grout lines, you're going to have some stain lines. That are going to show now there was a builder that actually had a problem um, with their grout lines and also the tile that's another thing I don't know if this tile is made for the exterior of the home so that's something that you'll have to definitely check but I do love the outside lights here let's go take a look on this side now this video may be a little bit long but that's how we run this channel we really look at homes in depth okay I love the uh, control joints here on the outside of the stucco they did a really good job it is very clean one thing I want you to take a look at as well is take a look at the stucco work from the side because sometimes you'll see some of these builders it'd be a little bit wavy so make sure you do that on the inspection I do love the eaves you have a two foot span on the eaves here your power box your D mark right here. Uh, make sure the D mark, you actually have a Smurf tube all the way up to your smart panel box. You have your pest inspection. We talked about this every once in a while, but I wanna go over this for all the new um, viewers to the channel. Uh, make sure that you have the right company that comes out here that plugs this in for your pest inspection. Uh, it should be a powder form. It should not be a uh, liquid form. You could literally damage uh, your system. Now the windows here are made by Alpine. These are dual pane windows. Alpine, if you Google, Google them, they do a lot of deals with builders, but this is one of their contractors um, with Toll Brothers. Really great job. Look at that, there's actually two of them here, which is really nice. All right, let's get inside already. We spent way too much time. Also, I know it's a little bit forecast, um, overcast. And the reason why is because of the, let me adjust this gimbal here. Here we go. One thing I want to show you, here's your kiosk. What's nice about this kiosk, basically you get people from Amazon or UPS come up here. Ashley will see you, scan you, take a photo of you. And at this point you can open up one of these boxes and then go ahead and put a box. Now. I know California in the news, they were saying that there's a fire, you know, I think it burnt over like what, 2 million acres. And that's the reason why we have a forecast here. I mean, not a forecast, but a overcast. 
may be a little bit dark in the video, so I do apologize. We're going to just come straight back here. Let's take a look at this thing here. Beautiful open floor plan. Look at this. It's gorgeous, right? Look at that. Now this property does feature uh, 4,396 square feet, five bedrooms, loft, total six bath. It is a two-story with a three-car garage, okay? This just literally finished on the construction. So we have a 42 cabinet with a double stack with a eight inch crown. I mean, look at that, it's gorgeous. Let's take a look at this island here. So we have a quartz countertop that's split into two. Um, I would probably have them redo the seams, but the problem is here is that uh, once you do the seams, I don't know if you guys can see that glow right here. You can kind of see where they sand it. They try to blend it all together. I would actually recoat that too as well. Also, I have a product that um, I'm doing a little bit more research on. I will let you know in the link in the link in the description below to seal these type of products, especially when it comes to granite as well. Love the uh, two tone cabinets here. That's really nice. I can tell you already we have um, soft closing cabinets. Uh, with Toe Brothers, uh, their vendors that they deal with, the Urban Effects. I do like Urban Effects cabinets. You do have the uh, dovetails here, soft closing, right? With the undermounted glides here. You do have granite here. Now, this granite here was not cut on the 45, it was just double stacked here. As you can see, we got uh, quarter, quarter. I mean, um, what do you call? A total of inch and a half, so three quarters. Normally you would cut a 45, it just looks a lot more cleaner versus just doubling up on that like that, okay? Let's see, did they do some upgrades on the drawers here? Okay, any type of drawers? Nope, okay. We do have a undermounted sink, okay? This is a stainless steel undermounted sink. And standard garbage disposal push button right here. You got your air, um, Regulator here too as well, and I do love this system right here. I'm starting to see a lot of builders uh, are starting to add this uh, system right here. So basically, what this is, this is an air vent, because what happens is you can't, because the sink is on the center of the island, and you need some sort of air vent to come through, so that way all the gas could actually be released. But this is a certain type of filter with this air vent, so this actually makes sense. Now this unit was connected to the wall. If your sink was here, then you would have your air vent going right through the wall and all the way up to the ceiling. So, let's take a look at this Gen Air built-in refrigerator. That is a beautiful, beautiful, this is like Ferraris of Ferraris. I do love this. Oh my God, this is clean. They did a really good job, this full built-in. I mean, Look how clean that is. Love it. Now the, the doors here as well, I forgot to mention, these are solid doors. These are actually painted, okay? You also got the dishwasher too right here. You got the Wolf stove which is really nice this is about 6500 and you got your hood here and it should exhaust out I would think and you have your prep station get your microwave and look how large this pantry is this is a very large pantry now if you guys would like more information about this property just go ahead and click on the link in the uh, description below we have a two panel door, three inch on the casings. Now let's take a look on this side here. Here we go. Now there's one thing that's kind of unique about this. It's a little bit different. And I just wanted to share this with you. So you, you have this, your, your stove here. I figured the refrigerator would go here, then the stove would go here, right? I mean, this is kind of a unique layout. I mean, normally you have the 
sink and on the opposite side of the sink you would have your stove but this is just very unique i felt like it's kind of small in an awkward position but you know what this is actually growing on me i do like this okay we do have standard uh orange peel texture with a light smack down on it straight edge cornering you do have uh, baseboards here. Uh, these baseboards are six inch baseboards, straight edge all the way across. You do have um, dual, not solid doors. Here's your auto and video, audio and video smart panel box here. Um, this is a pretty large, this is a 48 inch, so you'll be able to fit a lot of stuff in here. Looks like you do have your security box here. Let's see if they added an exhaust fan. No exhaust fan. I definitely would add an exhaust fan on here. So you have some shelving, extra storage. You have 12 by 24 on the tile. These are porcelain tile with a 6 inch uh, 3 16 You do have a guest room downstairs. Uh, give me just a second here. Ooh, I love these windows. These windows are gorgeous. It almost kind of gives you that uh, storefront appeal. And that's what they did here. Okay, You do have the option during the build to do a full storefront. And they added a lot of windows on here. But let me go back here. Because I'm getting sidetracked. Ooh. All right. So now we are in the guest bedroom I would like to call. As you can see, the only thing they did on here was a pre-wire ceiling fan, which I probably would have done um, four can lighting. At a home at this magnitude, at this price point, you gotta have four can lightings. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. But again, that's why you gotta call somebody to help you out to spec out the home. These are things that you need to think about. We do have 12 foot ceilings. Here's your closet. Pretty uh, decent sized closet here. Okay. Take a look at the bath here. So we've got the three quarter. As you can see, uh, the grout lines, they definitely have to be sealed. You got six by six on the, uh, the tile. These look like Delta. And it looks like what they did was they did the standard countertop that comes with the um, base price here. So we have half inch on the Petrofenia, 36 on the countertop, undermounted sink, and you have your chrome faucet, and you just have a recess light above, and there's actually two. You do have your fart fan, and you're also six inch can. Now I've noticed that uh, these windows here are vinyl windows. Uh, these are the uh, bright white, again from Alpine. In this room you do have a phone jack here, looks like. Or that should actually be your Cat 6. Not too sure, but however you're going to have to do your inspection. Uh, right here you have your jumper box for your uh, air conditioning unit. For your return line, let's go out inside the uh, garage here. Got your alarm system. Coming out to the garage. Now, the garage here is a three car garage, but on this side, if you have a large vehicle, you're going to have a hard time coming out from the driver's side. You won't have a problem on this side or on the passenger side. So a couple things that have been integrated and upgraded here with this build. You got your 220, uh, 40 amp here for your Tesla plug-in. Right here is your sprinkler system. Uh, I would probably never mess with that. Also, it shows you your regulation of your PSI on your uh, sprinkler system. Here is your valve, right, for your main water line. So this is how this works for some of you new viewers. The main line's coming in here from the street, then right here is your line for your sprinkler system. This is your shutoff valve to your main home. This is your pressure uh, pressure valve. This is where you're going to control the temperature, or the, I'm sorry, not your temperature, but the pressure 
of the water into your home. So typically the PSI could be anywhere from about uh, 55 to about 65. I kind of like it at the 60, the 60 mark. However, you can control it from here. I would highly recommend that you contact a plumber to do that for you. Don't do it yourself. You do have some high ceilings here. What I like about this garage, number one, you do have um, baseboards in this garage, 12 foot ceilings on the baseboards. You do have the lift master. I know sometimes I say life master. However, these are my Q uh, apps that you can connect to your system. I'll take a look at this. They also upgraded on this side, the, uh, the 220 with the 40 amp for the, uh, the Tesla as well. Here is your sprinkler system. And no key, I'm not too sure what this is right here. Let me know in the comments below, okay? This was a upgrade to, as, as far as a structural upgrade, a door that takes you out to the back of the home. So basically, normally what people will use this for, a couple things, if you like to work on your backyard and you have tools, it's a lot easier to come through the side of the home here. Definitely one thing that I would negotiate with this uh, builder if you are buying a spec home. And we know with spec homes, you're going to get a better deal because they want to get rid of their product. One thing I would negotiate right off the bat is, hey, I want you to epoxy the floor. Okay. Now, it looks like Focus Plumbing is the contractor on the plumbing of the home. Here's your soft water. Now, here is your... Uh, tankless water heater okay so you have your gas lines you have your cold and your hot and here's your pressure relief valve so what this is for is when there's too much pressure in the line what happens is this, this thing will kick up and it will blow out that pressure so that way you are not going to blow up your lines so be aware of that because sometimes you may hear that in the middle of the night you do have your power box here too as well all right, let's 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 go inside. Looks like you have eight foot garage doors and they are insulated, looks like. All right, let's go back into the home here. Well, I mean, look at all the, look at that. You do have two J-Box up there uh, for pre-wire so you could put some nice chandeliers Right here we have a heat glow. This is only a 36 inch fireplace, which a home like this, I would have probably did a 70 inch fireplace, a six foot, right? And because that's a style and especially with a home like this, there's just certain things that you need to have with home. And also I would have had this built up all the way and um, did the aftermarket tile. So, I mean, take a look at these windows. These windows are gorgeous. Look at that, nice. So back here, we do have a 12 foot. These are aluminum slides. They're not zero threshold, but that's okay. They glide very nice. Now, let's take a look at this. You do have some pavers. With the pavers, definitely have to be pressure washed. Make sure you get these pavers pressure washed. Get that negotiated into this deal, okay? Now let's take a look here, what we got on the side. The lot size is only 7,405 square feet. So it's not a large lot. Now, one thing, I want, like I said, I want you to take a look at the side of the home. Like right about right there, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see where it's kind of a little lumpy right there. That's where the scaffolds were connected. And that's where you need to take a look at. I love these control joints right here. They look really nice. Bryant AC units. Okay. One, two, three. Nice. You got the uh, view fencing. Then you have an easement back here. Looks like the downfall is... Uh, this is the dominant tenant, so everybody above here is going to be looking down into your yard. So that is the uh, the downfall here. 
but that is the lifestyle of this neighborhood. Also, uh, within this neighborhood, let me dust off my shoes real quick. Now, within this neighborhood, for Mesa Ridge, you have four different collections, okay? You have the Overlook, and the Overlook really starts off around $904,000. The Skyview starts off at nine hundred fifty-one. dollars Then the Peaks is at $995,000, okay? And the Viewpoint, you're going to start off at 984000 now, I just wanted to show you this room right here. You had an option. You could have made this a room, office, or a den. You do have this built-in bar. You got the Petrofina countertop here on the uh, peninsula. You have a 36-inch on the cabinet, 24-inch depth space. And you have a small little cute sink. And it looks like you have a J box here for a nice fixture. And this is just your closet underneath the staircase here. It's a little bit dark. It does go a little bit more back. Let me turn this on. Now you do have a, a 220 right here. Not too sure what that is for. Uh, that would actually go here. The only thing I can think of, I was going to say it's safe, but no, not too sure. Oh, you know what? It's actually a refrigerator. That's what it is. Probably a refrigerator. I don't know. Let me know. Well, a refrigerator wouldn't do a 220. It would actually be a stove. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below um, what's going to go there. So we have our laundry room. Oh, this is very unique. Very interesting. We have our laundry room downstairs, right? But look, it's carpet. You figure this is a tile all the way through, but then to go to the bathroom, you pass the laundry room. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting concept. Okay. Now let's go back here. We do have a second bedroom downstairs. Ooh, I love these windows. Look at this. Love the uh, design of that window. That's just nice. And you got 12-foot ceilings, 8-foot doors. Another junior suite. This room is uh, 13 by 13. Tub-shower combo. You got the shower rod. Okay, I would definitely would have done a glass slider, which you still can. And it looks like the countertops are different on this one right here. And that just looks like the standard countertops. Okay, and here's your walk-in closet here. Walk-in closet is not that large. But this is just good for guests. You don't want them to stay for a long time. All right, so it looks like they did the upgrades on the railing here. You got 48 inches on the, uh, the staircase. It's nice and wide. Looks like you have synthetic carpet. These are Mohawks, I bet. Um, they're not like the best carpet, but standard carpet. Do like this catwalk here. Let's take a look at this. Looks nice, right? We're gonna go down this way first. Here we go. Here's your like loft entertainment area. Let's go out here to the balcony. All right. Look at that mountain over there. 
they're building a total of about like 300 and something homes. The uh, rec center is going to be over here, which is really nice. So all the homes in here are going to be over a million by the time you are done. The finishings are, not the finishings, but the, the fine details on this home, they did a really good job though. As far as like all the touch up work, so I'm very happy with that. So we got two rooms here. We got one here. Then we have another one here. Let's go to this one first. So you do have your one in one right here, which is your cable. So it looks like your bed would probably go here, your headboard. Okay. You have the, uh, the J box here as well. Uh, let's take a look here. We got our bathroom, the closet. Oh, I love the fact that you have a closet back here. You got the white cabinets and tub shower combo. This is a fiberglass, same thing, six by six on the uh, the tile here. Now I noticed that they did the standard toilet here. This toilet's only uh, 12 inches, so it's very low. So you're definitely going to need to have to squat. Also, it looks like your shutoff valve. I actually like these shutoff valves a lot better uh, where you just twist to turn it off. But if you notice, it's not copper all the way through. What happens is um, the plumbing, you're going to notice it's more of a, a flex. I forget the name of that product. Let me know in the comments below. However, you got to be careful with this because you can actually snap or break that line. Again, you got your standard Petrofina countertops. We are at 177,000 subscribers. That is crazy. Oh man, I can't wait to hit 200. That is the goal. And um, it is because of each and every one of you guys. I do appreciate it. You got your J-Box here. Not your J-Box, but your one and one here. Again, you have your J-Box above with no 4 can lighting. Again, another junior suite. Bathroom pretty much looks the same on this one. Tub shower combo. Nice. Okay. And the countertops on this one is a little bit different too. See, the other one was gray. I, I think what happened was, the only reason why that one is gray, oh, closet, I'm not going to go in there. This video is getting way too long. And I know the attention span of the viewers is only about eight minutes now. So we have your cable outlet here, okay? Ooh, take a look at this. Nice, right? And second laundry room, which is nice. I was going to say that one downstairs is way too small. So they did do the upgrade on the, uh, the sink. And I love the fact that they have a drain pan. One builder, I'm not going to mention who, uh, Pulte, they do not do a drain pan on the second floor, which is kind of odd to me. And I'd figure according to code, it should be regulated. But if it's not the code, then I guess you don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, let me just show you guys a couple things here. This is your hot and cold. This is your drain line, right? And this is another drain line too as well. Every once in a while, you're gonna hear something flowing. And this is actually from um, your, sometimes it's connected to your primary from the AC unit. So if you hear something here, don't worry about it. Now this is your drain pan for your washer. If your washer gets clogged or over, it starts to overflow, what happens is you have this drain line that spits all the water out so it doesn't flood your second floor. This is actually your clean, clean out line. Just in case that something is clogged, a plumber can actually come in here and snake to see what is going on. Here is for your dryer. So this right here is for your exhaust, for all the heat that's gonna be spitting outside. Here's your gas line, okay? Let's go back down this way. 
Let's finish up on the master. Master is separate from the others. I love that every bedroom has its own bathroom. And what we have total, what, two balconies? Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Take a look at this. Ah, oh, hold on. I'm over here messing around with my paperwork. Oops, my bad. Okay, so the master is 21 by 16. Looks like your entertainment center would go here. Okay. That's an option, or you have the option to put your TV right here as well. So it looks like your headboard would definitely go right here. Okay, so that's what it is. So this is a little bit unique. So you would have to come through this little section here. Not too sure what you would do with it. You hit this corner, then you're coming into your master bath. Now, this is very unique. You have his and hers. You do have the fiberglass tub down the center. But what I like about this is that you have two water closets. One is his and one is hers. The water closet. And look how large this walk-in closet is. There's a lot that you can definitely do in this walk-in closet. This is a nine foot on the uh, walk-in closet here. Here's your attic access. I know it's a little bit dark. See, one thing that I would have done here instead of the uh, can lighting, I would have uh, pre-wired for the fluorescent light. So that's, that way it's just nice and bright. So we have a step up and here's your shower in here. Shower is pretty decent size. So we have, what is this, um, 16, 16, 16. I mean, this is a couple feet. This is probably a good five feet wide. You have two shower heads, which is really nice. And these tiles are actually, what, uh, 18 by 18, it looks like. Maybe 16 by 16, I can't tell. Nice. But what's unique is that this recess down about one inches, but then it recesses again another like six inches. I'd figure they would have just leveled this all the way across so that way you don't have two step ups. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. But maybe it's just the way it was just built. Now, did you hear that? I just walked on the tile. I don't think this thing has hardy back on it. I think they just tiled right over the uh, the plywood. I'm trying to see if I can tell. That I cannot tell. However, that's something that you may want to ask if they're going to use the hardy back on the tile. We got a 12 foot slide. These are aluminum slides, which is really nice. Man, this thing collides. Look at that. And here's your neighbor. They did a good job as far as like the attention to detail in the build. You got a thermostat upstairs, which is nice, and the master. Take a look at this, it's gorgeous, huh? Yes. All right, we're just going to end this video. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe, to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. And the other thing is, happy Labor Day, everybody. Everybody's busting their ass, working hard. All I can tell you is hard work does pay off. All the people that... Talk smack or hating, let them hate. That means you're doing something right. Always stay positive, stay focused. Also, the other thing I've noticed is that I get a lot of emails, you know, how much people actually look up to me and to this channel. So I just want to say I appreciate that. Never thought I would impact people's lives like that. And also, you know, there are the people that I look up to and there are people that mentor me, okay?
and there's nothing wrong with that. Keep doing what you guys do, man. Work hard. That's all I can tell you. I'm a testimonial to that. Trust me. Well, guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to visit LVHomeExperts.com. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day. Thank you.